what we're talking about, baby. Hello, you guys. Welcome to another video. It is currently 1240 and it is Tuesday. I'm starting this the week kind of like a little late. So I just got some morning editing done and I just got ready for the day and I just got like a few errands to run. So I don't know if you guys have been like watching my vlogs. I don't know if I even mentioned this, but I really need to find a matcha powder. Like I went to five different grocery stores throughout the past few weeks and they haven't had matcha powder at any of them like literally the only thing that i found was like this matcha powder and it was by like tently like that tea brand and like i bought it and it ended up being just like matcha with green tea and like tea bags so it was not what i wanted and i'm like oh my god are you kidding me i was just so excited that i finally found it but i did it um so i just called one of my like local whole food store and they said that they had it and i'm like bless you i don't know why i did not think of this earlier like that should have been the first place that i went so i'm gonna go run out and get that today and i also need a return it's downstairs but i got this green protector from London Drugs because I got a new phone and it was $30 okay $30 for a screen protector which like I was fine with paying I was like whatever and then I get home and then I tell my brother and I'm like oh I got a screen protector he's like why did you get one like I got one for you and I was like what do you mean he's like I ordered like a pack of three on Amazon for $10 and I'm like what I paid $30 for mine I mean it's probably better quality but they're both glass screen protectors so in the end I don't really care so I got to return that so this is the fit for today I just threw on some jeans these are thrifted and then this tank top from Shein. It's really cute. The weather has been literally absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of hot today. Like we were on our morning walk and I started sweating. Like I had to like shed my jacket and literally take my jackets off because I was so hot. Like it's literally such beautiful weather this week. So I'm so grateful for that. So honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to need a sweater with this. Like this just might be it. Yeah. So we're going to do some errands and bring y'all along for the day. I'm literally currently obsessed with with this bandana that I got from Amazon. Okay, you probably saw I wore it in like, I think it was like my previous video or one of my previous videos. This bandana is so freaking cute and I wanted to wear it with this outfit, but then like, I don't want to wear it too often. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to get sick of it. So I'm like, you know what? I'll save it for like next week. And I really want to order more colors. I got it off Amazon and I think it was only like $12 including shipping and everything, Amazon Prime. I'll link it down below if I can find it. Yeah, but I definitely want to get like a whole bunch of more colors for the summer because I want to be living in bandanas. And you can also like wear this as a shirt like dead ass i was watching this video and this girl was like because look at how big it is see so you can like tie it some way like this and make it into a cute ass shirt so i'm gonna have to play around with that but i definitely want to get like at least 10 of these for the summer like in cute different patterns and colors but yeah i'll link this one down below for you guys look at how pretty my cat is she is so beautiful and there's this spot in my sister's room right here where like the sun comes in from the window and it hits the floor and she loves to sunbathe in this spot like usually she'll be laying like in the sun right here but she probably got a little hot and she's so adorable i love her so much i'm literally obsessed with her oh my goodness where's she say hi <gasps> say hi she's so pretty you're so pretty you guys i just discovered the tea so basically my sister bought this brown dry shampoo so it's people with dark hair you guys this is evolutionary i don't know if this was like out for a while or if we're i'm just dumb and haven't discovered it but it doesn't leave a white cast in your hair because it's for brown hair or black hair and it's the best thing ever because whenever i use dry shampoo like it's so hard to get all of the white out because it's like so white and the only thing that i realized is like when i sprayed it and then like try to mix it in with my hands it kind of like got everywhere i needed to like wipe shit off you know what i'm saying because it's like colored brown so just be careful of that but other than that like it looks great no white cast at all or i don't know if white cast is the right word but no white remainders left in my hair yeah, I actually think we're gonna head out now soon. I was supposed to go like a while ago, but I'm just waiting for Joel. Also, I just added this little cardigan because it is kind of like breezy outside, so I didn't want to be too cold. So I'm literally gonna bronze up my neck like this because I just can't take it. You know when you're getting really pale when your winter makeup barely matches your face anymore because it's too dark. Now that is a warning sign. Okay. Okay, so we just got to London Drugs, and it's pretty much London Drugs, if you guys don't know what it is, it's like a uh, drugstore, drugstore? Yeah, like a pharmacy drugstore. And this is the screen protector that I got, that I'm returning. It was like, I just got like the cheapest glass one there was, but since it was less than $10 on Amazon, nothing can compare, so 
Let's go and return it. Okay, so I just returned the screen protector and oh my god, you guys will not believe this, okay? So when I was showing you guys the screen protector like in here, after I shut off the camera, I like made sure that the receipt was in the bag. So I like went in the bag and I looked at the receipt and I was like, great, it's in here, put it back in the bag. We walked outside, we walked into the store and then I go to return it and I'm like, holy shit, the receipt is gone. Like where the hell did it go? I was just holding it. And then I'm like, oh shit, I come back, I look in the car, I look I like retrace my steps and I can't find the damn receipt so they're like okay the best we can do is give you a gift card so I was like well I guess I guess that's what I'm gonna have to settle for it's like whatever so they ring me up a gift card then me and Joe come back to the car and guess what we find the receipt is like behind the car like beside the other car because it's very windy so obviously it blew away and we find the receipt so we're like holy shit did we really just go through all of that so we went back in and then we got our money back with the original receipt but holy crap that was literally like half an hour that we just spent in and out of that store trying to find the receipt and returning it but i'm glad we ended up finding it i was literally like shook i was like i was just holding this where the hell could it have gone from here to inside the store like i was sure i put it back in the bag and i did and it flew away <laughs> and it was so awkward because the guy there was so rude to us like for no yeah. reason he's like he's like you don't have the receipt i can't return it yeah then he's all of a sudden he's returning it yeah yeah then we come back he's like no it's done you cannot get it back and then all of a sudden he starts doing it and i'm like yeah well, he he kept telling us that he can't do something and then he proceeds to go and do it <laughs> yeah. and we're just like, like uh, well, uh two minutes ago you said you, you you couldn't do that and you just did it so and he was he was just so rude and i'm like bitch i don't need your negative energy so i bought the screen protector two days ago and i was like oh i just bought this and i just literally lost the receipt and then and then he's like when did you buy it and i was like oh like two days ago he's like you said you just bought it i was like yeah like two days ago and then he's like if you just bought it you would have bought, just bought it now today and i was like okay like every obviously everyone has a different definition of i just what i just bought it means like holy shit he was literally so feisty i'm like ram what 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 side of the bed did you wake up on today but we choose positivity today okay okay <laughs> Finally got our long-awaited matcha everyone. I want a round of applause because it has taken me like three weeks to find this yes. Here we go. Here's our holy grail beautiful matcha baby. This is like my favorite store ever. It's like a whole food store yeah. So good So it is currently 4.42 and I'm gonna show you guys how to make my long-awaited matcha recipe So it's pretty much the same thing as my coffee recipe to be honest But just kind of using matcha instead of an espresso shot. So let's open her up Also, I had no idea how expensive matcha is. I thought it was gonna be like $10, but this whole thing was like almost $50 <laughs> Hey, so now that it, that explosive mess is cleaned up, we're fine. That was kind of a little bit unexpected. Okay, so what I just did is I took my matcha powder and I took one teaspoon and I put her in a little jar here. One teaspoon is equivalent to like the amount of caffeine that you'd get from a cup of, cup of coffee, um, which is two grams of matcha, which equals to one teaspoon. So one teaspoon is what I put and that's like the normal amount. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna fill this with hot water just up until like here, literally just like a few tablespoons of hot water just to melt the matcha because you need to melt it, if that makes sense. I don't know why, because it's like powdery, so you need to melt it. So I'm gonna take hot water and put it like up to here, literally a few tablespoons and melt the matcha. Okay, so now, as you can see, the water is very hot and I just put literally that much and we're gonna just stir that in i know they make like these special matcha whisker things i want to try eventually but just mixing it with a spoon will do the job for now you need to do this hot water first though because if you don't put it in hot water then it will um like clump up in your milk like it'll be disgusting it won't mix properly so 
so the hot water is necessary. All right, that seems pretty well mixed. I might have over mixed that, which is fine, because I just hate when it's like clumpy, because if you don't mix it enough, then it will be clumpy, and that's what you do not want. You want to avoid the clumps, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this with ice, and I'll be right back. So now, as you can see, I filled this with ice, and we're gonna add oat milk into it. This is my favorite oat milk. This is my liquid crack. I'm just gonna fill that all the way up. Get a straw. Oh my God, I'm actually so dumb. I forgot to sweeten it. Okay, we can add it now. But okay, usually I would sweeten it. You know when I was mixing the hot water with the matcha? Usually I'd put the maple syrup in there, like mix it in with that, but I totally forgot. How did I forget? That's like the most important part. Okay, so I'll just add the maple syrup now. So I'm gonna put like a teaspoon of maple syrup in here. Just mix that in. It's not gonna be as mixed and nice, but it's fine. Looks like I need another teaspoon. Mm. That's what we're talking about, baby. This is literally amazing. Mm. So freaking good. And you guys have to make it with this oat milk. Like this oat milk is a game changer. Let me tell you, once you try it, you'll never be able to stop. Okay, we I bought like nine of these at once and ran out in a week. I miss matcha so much. This is amazing. But yeah, that's my matcha recipe. This is so freaking good. Go try this right now. Do you guys want some? Here, take a sip. Also, if you guys are curious, I'm going to show you guys the bag right here so you guys can see. This is the matcha that I just used. I used to use a different one, but I feel like they're all pretty much the same thing. But this one does look really good. Kind of superior to the other one that I had. They used to have it at Costco. My mom got it the first time at Costco, but I had to get this from my like Whole Foods store. I also bought these flowers for myself. Look at how cute they are. The yellow is just so beautiful. I love spring flowers. Like when spring hits, I just like want to go and buy some flowers. Like when I get my own house one day or my own apartment or whatever I definitely want to buy like flowers every so often like when they die I want to get more because they're just so beautiful and they just like scream summer and spring Okay, so we're just here watching the sunset. Um, we're at a bit of a different spot. We're on a park bench right now, and we came here when we first started dating, I'm pretty sure. We came here with Madison. And it was a long time ago. A lot, like three. Probably in our first year of dating. Like three years ago, we came here together, and I don't think we've been here together ever since. Maybe like once, but it's such a beautiful spot here, especially to watch the sunset. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little wonky. I'm trying to like not make it shady, but yeah. So I just wanted to do a little bit segment of moments with Michaela, and we have Joel here again. Take it off. I think the topic for today, we were thinking about talking about the word how and how the word how gets in the way a lot of the time. Like if you have a goal and you want to achieve it, a lot of times the first question is, well, how are you going to do that? But if you think back to your previous life experiences and you predicted, you know, how something would have came into your life before that, the way you predicted everything would work out isn't exactly how it ended up working out most of the time, I find. Let's say you wanted uh, a brand new phone, and then you ask yourself, well, how am I gonna get this brand new phone? I don't have a job, I'm just a kid, blah, 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 blah. Maybe that was what your thought process was. And at the end of the day, you ended up still getting that phone because maybe your grandparents bought it for you, when, even after your parents told you they, uh, they wouldn't buy it for you. What I'm trying to say is that when you're trying to achieve your goals, maybe asking the question how isn't always the best way to go about it because that question can be very discouraging sometimes. Mm -hmm. and, it can, and it can make you not want to do something because you're always wondering that question. Mm -hmm. Well, how is this going to happen? And it also like get, gets in your head. Like if, if you keep asking yourself how and people keep, keep asking you like, oh, how? Then you're going to get into your head and you're going to be like, oh my God, how am I going to do that? What's going to happen? How am I going to get this? How am I really going to do that? Realistically speaking, how, how, am I gonna, how am I even going to achieve this goal? And then it like, it puts such, like it puts fear into your mind, I feel like. And it puts um, exactly doubt in your mind because you're just keep you keep asking how. So we feel like asking the question how, like how are you gonna do it that? It does nothing but discourage you because most mm -hmm. of the times when you answer that question, if you can answer the question how, even if you can, it's probably not gonna end up happening through that one stream. It's like people get so focused on 
there's only one way this thing can happen to me and that's it. There's no point in asking how because nobody knows how. Yeah, it's like if you set a goal for yourself to, to have a successful business and if that's your goal, it's almost like, okay, of course you need to work at it and you need to work hard at it and you need to kind of give yourself a game plan and maybe a schedule. But at the same time, it's like people dwell on the how and then they get into their heads and then it discourages them that, that oh, how, how can I ever become a, a successful business? owner how can my how can my business out of everyone else's business do do good and it's like sometimes you just got to shut your brain up and stop asking how and just do it like just do it and that is it don't think about it just start doing it and then things will flow for you and you won't be scared you won't have that fear of how you're gonna do it I think the uh, the overall message for the day is um, don't ask how and just do it because nobody knows how there's so many reasons not to do something like I can name a thousand reasons why I shouldn't be posting YouTube videos and stuff like that like I like you you can name a thousand reasons but you can also name a thousand other reasons why you should do something and why you should just go for it it's like if you focus focus on the fear of something, if you focus on the negative outcomes that could occur, then you're not going to be successful because you're almost like manifesting it to go wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you saying like, oh, how can I ever do that? It's like you're literally manifesting that you're not going to be able to do it because you, you don't put yourself in the shoes of being worthy enough to do that. So yeah, that's our little TED talk of the day. It's like, don't ask how, if you, if you have a goal, if you have something you want to do in life, don't ask how, just manifest it and just put work towards it if you can and it'll come to you eventually. It's normal to at first have doubt within yourself because I used to have so much doubt within myself and I used didn't used to be as confident and I would always ask the question like oh how am I gonna do that and I would get discouraged and it's just like a bad path that you do not want to go down it's never too late to change your attitude and your mindset and once I did that it's like it's less stressful and it's just like you're tr you're trusting yourself that's what's gonna end up getting you that success the word how is literally a roadblock okay like you're putting if you say how it's putting a roadblock in front of yourself just know whatever you want to do you can do it don't ask how don't ask why don't ask where just do it do it just freaking go for it and do it okay this is your sign to do whatever you've been wanting to do go follow your dreams go do it go do that because you have the potential that's inside of you you it's all in you you just got to release it you hold power within yourself yeah i think it's important to just you know have no worries in life because if you really think back on your experience like when you worry about something how often does that worry actually come to fruition not very often so cut out the worries because there's no need to do all that you're just wasting your brain power and just relax chill and if something happens that you need to worry about deal with it in the moment deal with your problems in the moment and don't think about in the future or the past because none of those things exist it's, it's also like it also ties in to, to living in the, in the in the present yeah like if you ask how you're always focusing on the future and what the outcome is going to be here's the quote i just made this up okay go. don't ask how ask now oh that's good that rhymes too when you want to ask how live in the now that's so wow <laughs> like or something like see. i would clap right now but i'm holding the camera with one hand. that's that's, that's the message for the day folk we love you all Remember that one. We love you all. Anyways, we're just gonna finish watching the sunset. It's like kind of almost done now. But yeah, I love these little segments, moments with Michaela. This just like if I didn't start putting this in my videos, my videos would not have as much purpose, you know. So I do want to share like my wisdom with you guys and hopefully help at least one person watching this. I don't want to post like mindless content. I want to do something different and try to make a change and just help, you know. I'm I'm no psychiatrist or anything like that, but like just t talking based off of my experiences and everything I just want to try and help anyone really who wants to listen yeah I just hope I inspire you guys somehow through my videos because that would mean the world to me if I did Hey guys, so it is currently like 10 o'clock-ish. We came back from watching the sunset, ate some dinner, and I think like I came to the conclusion that I want to be not vegan, but my brother's girlfriend, Aneko. I was telling her how I wanted to go vegan, but I don't want to put a label on it because like I don't want to restrict myself like too much, you know? So she's like, why don't you just be vegan inspired? And I'm like, that's such a good term to use, you know? Because it's not really labeling yourself, but it's like being vegan inspired is 
completely different I feel like um so me and Joel kind of want to do this together I have avoided dairy in the past and gluten in the past eggs and stuff like that so I've avoided like all that stuff before and it honestly gives me the best results especially for my eczema I notice a huge difference and just honestly the way I feel it makes me feel so much better because I've just been slacking I've been eating cheese I've been eating eggs and everything and not that that's bad at all like everything in moderation but it's just like for my personal body and for my personal health I feel like being vegan inspired is the best thing for me um I really want to get my health like back on track because I've noticed my eczema has been getting a little bit worse and yeah eczema has been something that I had have been struggling with since I was young I used to have like it way worse and then as I got older it got better and then now I'm noticing it kind of coming back a little bit again so I need to nip it in the butt and I really just want to make it gone because eczema is not fun and I do not want to use any creams anymore I don't want to use any antibiotic creams I don't want to use any steroid creams because my mom has a horrific terrible terrifying experience with them that she's going through right now so that's like very scary to me and it's like I do not want to use those creams at all like I'm trying to stay away from them so I want to heal myself from the inside out because it's so true like I am a firm believer that like what you put in your body is going to reflect like out like on your skin and everything and I believe that you if you want to heal yourself the best way to do it is inside out because I feel like using steroid creams is just kind of putting a band-aid on the problem it's not getting rid of your eczema it's just putting a band-aid on it like it's gonna come back I got prescribed a cream like last year that I went in for and I put it on and it's like okay it went away for like a few days but then my eczema was coming back and it's like I didn't want my skin to get dependent on that cream because I don't want to keep using that cream forever and then I can get side effects like my mom has right now so yeah so I really want to try and go the natural route and go vegan inspired for I don't know how long I'm not gonna set a time limit on it I'm just gonna start I'm doing it too. I feel like we're here to hold each other accountable you know so we can help each other stay in line because it's honestly really hard to like have that self-motivation sometimes especially when you live in a house where everyone is eating those things i heard this quote today or i saw this quote today and it was like it takes motivation to get started and determination to keep going yeah so we gotta have dedication determination because i got the motivation right now but yeah i really want to put my mind to this and do it i'm just gonna do it not think about how we're just gonna do it and yeah so anyways that was the end of today's vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you guys so much for watching especially up until this point like if you're watching up until this point i literally love you i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video have a great beautiful wonderful day evening night whatever stage of the day that you're in never ask how people if you ask how Start living in the now. Yes. <laughs> if you're asking how, you're not living in the now. And if you're not living in the now, then you're gonna look like a cow. Then you're gonna have to bow. Then you're gonna be wiping the sweat off your brow. Love you guys so much. See you in my next video. Peace out.